as we zero in on the particulars the tail of the tape at 26 Gerald McClellan is seven years younger than Julian Jackson the inch and a half height advantage for McClellan both weighed in at 160 and the four and a half inch reach advantage for McClellan McClellan down to a three and a half to one favorite to the rules according to the WBC for this title fight 10 point must system three scoring judges no standing eight no three knockdown only the referee can stop the fight a fighter cannot be saved by the bell except in the last round so here at the MGM Grand Garden in Las Vegas getting ready for the WBC middleweight championship the rematch between Gerald McClellan and Julian Jackson we go up to our ring announcer Jimmy Lennon Jr. Well, fans, we welcome you to our next world title main event in this Revenge the Rematches, brought to you by Don King Productions and King Vision in association with SET Pay Per View, Corona Beer, and the MGM Grand. At this time, we present the rematch for the WBC Middleweight Championship of the World. This bout is sanctioned by the World Boxing Council, President Jose Suleiman, Supervisor Haiga Collegian, along with the Nevada State Athletic Commission, Chairman Dr. Elias Ghanem, presenting the judges as appointed, Cindy Barton, Bill Graham, and Dr. James Jenkin. Introducing to you the referee in charge of this bout, Joe Cortez. All right, fans, here we go with the rematch of the explosive bout that took place just one year ago, and this is for the WBC Middleweight Championship of the World, scheduled for 12 rounds of boxing. Introducing to you first the challenger on my left. He is fighting out of the blue corner. He enters the ring wearing gold trunks with red trim and hailing from St. Thomas in the Virgin Islands. He weighed in at an even 160 pounds and his record includes 49 wins. Only two losses with 45 big wins coming by way of knockout. He is currently ranked the WBC number two middleweight in the world. Please welcome the knockout artist, who is the former two-time world champion in the junior middleweight and middleweight divisions. Introducing Julian the Hawk Jackson. And his opponent across the ring is the defending champion on my right, fighting out of the red corner. He enters the ring wearing green trunks with white trim, fighting out of Freeport, Illinois. He weighed in at the same weight of an even 160 pounds, and he steps into the ring with a record of 30 wins, only two losses, and he has 28 wins coming by way of knockout tonight, making his third defense of his title. Please welcome the hard-hitting WBC middleweight champion of the world, introducing the G-Man, Gerald McClellan. Once again, here's the referee in charge, Joe Cortez. All right, gentlemen, come here. We went over the rules in the dressing room, but when a good, clean fight, a deck sells all time. Shake hands, good luck. Gerald McClellan, the only man on this card who had a little trouble making weight, nothing new for the G-Man. He was a quarter pound overweight, went out, came back in an hour, weighed 160, saying afterwards, this is my last fight as a middleweight. He's probably closer to 180 uh, for the fight. A key for Jackson could be to get this fight past the fourth or fifth round. Both McClellan and Jackson average under four rounds. Here we go, round one, scheduled for 12 for the WBC Middleweight Championship. Gerald McClellan with a fifth-round knockout over Julian Jackson to the first encounter. McClellan's come out with a real good jab. Oh, a big right hand. Right off the bat, Jackson's in dire trouble. McClellan looking to finish him up. Seconds into the fight. Pummeling Jackson. I'll tell you what.
this might not go a minute. Back comes McClellan. I tell you what McClellan was and doesn't want to do is get a little overconfident sloppy because Jackson can punch. And down goes Jackson for the second time. And this time he looks like he's crumpled for good. He hit him on the top of the head on the way down, and I'm telling you, he is totally disoriented. He looks like he's not going to get up. Actually, we talked, didn't get a chance to talk about it on here. We talked about it in interviews. Jackson said he wanted to try.